thought we just had so much to say. Why? Why mess it up with some theme music? We don't need any theme music because we have lots to share with you. And of course, you know, I always think what's better than bringing in one of your best girlfriends to talk about love, dating, and relationships, especially one that is as funny, clever, intuitive, and smart as Allison Rosen. Hello, Allison. Thank you. That was the best introduction ever. Except here's the thing is that usually the other times I've come on this show, Diana has done a little dance <laughs> to the theme music, and I was all ready for it today, and I'm, yes. I'm caught off guard by the lack of dance. Well, you know, moves. I'm I am someone who loves the art of dance and movement. You're bringing so. neither the funk nor the noise today, Diana. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet, exactly. Right. Who knows? We might have a dance break later because sometimes I feel like it is always necessary to just keep dancing. Metaphorically. Like no one's looking. And literally. Yes. Dance like <laughs> no one's looking. Learn like you're going to live forever or something. Live like you'll die tomorrow. There's a lot of things that we could do as cliche. There's a lot of things we could do in this cliche. I'm going to do them all. I'm glad. Now, now <laughs> people are, yeah, <laughs> pretty much, no, just kidding. <laughs> people that are, uh, I, I, my friends that are out there right now, if you're like, Allison Rosen is lovely, lovely like a rose in. Um, <laughs> you get that. I did. I got that. I saw what you did there. Okay. I'm impressed with that. Thank you. And you're welcome. <laughs> um, if you want to check out more about Allison, what is what is? I mean, you have Twitter, you have oh yeah, blog I'm all spot. over the place. You're I like will all... smother you online, but if you go to AllisonRosen.com, I finally got it to to. Uh, you can just go to AllisonRosen.com. Oh, and then you can see some of my stuff, and then from there, it's like a tree, and there's branch. The rest of my. Wow, you've taken over the internet. You're like Al Gore. Just my little corner of the internet, not the whole internet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you haven't become like a dictator or a Gestapo because right, right, no. Then we couldn't no. hang out. Okay. That would be a little too much. But speaking of hanging out, dating is kind of like hanging out, just with the opposite sex or same sex, depending. And Alice and I have had many a girl night chatting about relationships and how you want to make sense of them and from all this I've decided there are a lot of losers out there I've dated a lot of them I could name names but I'm above that sort of if you want names call me later we'll talk um, <laughs> but I did want to talk about how to spot a loser and how to avoid getting into some of the dating pitfalls so you don't get yourself into a relationship with someone that never was for you never will be for you and at the end of the day you're gonna say I wasted six months on that and I have to take Excedrin because he was such a headache so if you want to know how to spot a loser Allison and I are going to discuss that right now right here on pal talk and if you have questions about maybe some red flags in your relationship relationship or some signs that you think could be warning you to avoid it, this is the time to raise those pal talk hands and to talk to Allison and I. And if you don't have a mic, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, we will definitely read all your IMs and get to your questions and hopefully give you some good answers about what you need to know. So Allison, we were talking about some of our own personal relationships that we've been in and whether it's just casual dating to seriously dating. And my main thing about spotting a loser is that they're, they're not always telltale signs from the get-go. Right, right. A lot of losers are gregarious. They're outgoing. They're attractive. They're charm. Yeah, they're charming. They will seduce you. Um, <laughs> they and, will seduce you. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the way that I think is important for us to all kind of avoid the loser is by simply keeping your eyes open and not falling for them too soon. Because once they kind of get you under their spell, you're like, oh, he's, he's totally cool. Well, then you start rationalizing. That's the thing is that I had always heard you see someone the most clearly right when you see them, and then you put blinders on. Okay. Because then it's, I mean, it's sort of like, it's sort of like with a good friend. If they do something messed up, then you're like, oh, well, they meant well or whatever. Versus like someone you dislike, if they do something really nice, then you're like, oh, they're just trying to kiss my butt. They're trying to curry favor. So right, it's like once right. you form that initial opinion about someone, you will justify their behaviors to uphold that opinion about them. So Nicely put. Now, we have Eric in Iowa. Hi, Eric. Welcome to the Diana Felzone Show with the beautiful Allison Rosen. Hello. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Um, you were talking Eric, about. Have Eric, or did I scare him? No, I'm here. Can you hear me? Uh -oh. Eric, where you did you me? go? I don't know. I think you're, 
<laughs> might be this is a red flag. This is a red flag. This is a red flag. Okay, while well, Eric figures out the mic situation, we're going to continue talking about Oh, he is there. We don't have him. We, have we, him. we don't have him. Thank, Gary's here. Hi, everyone. Yes. <laughs> okay, can you hear me now? Uh, I'm just going to sit back and relax. No. Can it be less Eric right now? Everyone can hear Eric except us. <laughs> This is like the Tower of Babel. Everybody's speaking a language, but we can't hear I know. it. <laughs> oh, crap. I hope sound is <laughs> okay now. Well, the speakers are on. Everyone's like, come on, you brunettes. Artificial intelligence. No, really yeah, can't yeah. hear. No. Oh, are these things plugged in? <laughs> yeah, you guys are no, no, no. Maybe you should stop the camera. <laughs> I think it's funny that it's... Kind of everybody funny. wants to see this. We, oh, hey, well, what am I saying? That I love that everybody's hear. saying they dyed their hair. I have not dyed my hair. <laughs> Me either. Really? Oh, I mean, I, I have dyed it, but not... But this is your natural color? This is my this natural is my color. This is my natural color, too, so... Yeah. Testing? <laughs> Testing? Now, want me to pretend to be Eric? You could. <laughs> um, hi, this is Eric from Iowa. <laughs> Um, I just started dating this girl <laughs> that I met in my class, I don't know what it is. in my science class. We dissected it. We'll a... be right back, everyone. <laughs> yes. Yes, we will. Sorry, folks. Hang in there. We're going to do a quick uh, reboot and try and uh, see if we can get the lovely ladies back on air for you. Hang tight, and I hope you can hear me. Loud and clear, loud and clear, Ellen. Yeah, this happens. You know, these PCs, they have their own brains, as we all know. <laughs> it happens. So, friends, uh, just be patient. Uh, we will uh, kind of start again, because uh, they have audio problems. They are not able to hear us. Well, that happens. Uh, I hope you don't mind. might take a minute. So... They should be back any second. Please be patient. Thanks for 